this fly, we're going to tie a golden stimulator. <clears throat> this is just a stimulator pattern where the body of the fly is actually a golden stone fly dubbing. So, uh, stim stimulator is a very popular pattern and a lot of people like to fish with it for a number of reasons. It floats well, it's relatively easy to tie, and they're in abundance because you can find them at most places where you would be able to buy flies. So, here we go. We're going to tie the golden stimulator. First thing, I'm going to get my thread on there. I use black thread for this fly. Um, it's black floss thread, so pretty strong. Shouldn't break. I get the thread to the back of the hook. And to start off with, we're going to tie in the tail. So we'll use a little bit of elk hair. Take, the, take a little pinch of that. Pretty small pinch, really. And snip that off. Once I get that snipped, then I'm going to grab the front of it and work out all of the kind of fuzzy fibers on the back end of it because those tend to just cause problems when you try to use the hair stacker. So put those in the hair stacker. And actually it looks like I, I may have been able to use a little bit more elk hair. I did not tie in. I didn't quite get enough there. So I think what we're going to do is tie this in. Take a look at it. It looks pretty good actually. Grab all of it at the same time and snip it. So I was going to tie in a little bit more, but actually it looks like it doesn't really need any. So alright, next step is I'm going to tie in a piece of uh, piece of hackle. And on this fly I like to use hackle that actually is probably undersized for this size of fly. But uh, it's what I, I prefer it. I think it makes the fly look a lot nicer when it comes to fishing, when it comes to tying the stimulator. So some grizzly hackle. And we're just going to take this and tie it in right in the exact same spot that I tied in the elk hair. <coughs> Get it on there nice and tight. I'm not going to use it right now, so I'm just going to place it in the, in the holder there. And... Now I'm going to grab a little bit of golden stone fly dubbing out of here, out of this package. Take the dubbing and I'm going to attach it to the thread here. But before I do that, I like to work it, kind of get it pretty wispy, pretty fluffy. And once I'm able to do that, then I take that dubbing, lay it on the thread, and then twist it on there. Now when I twist this on there, I like to work down the thread and usually I, I get it about as fastened as I can to the uh, to the thread and then when I think I've done about the best I can do I'll usually just lick my fingers real quick and do it again that kind of helps tighten it yeah it looks pretty nice so uh, I got my dubbing on there. I'm going to wrap it onto the fly and just work my way forward. So let's see if we have enough dubbing. I may have to put just a little bit more on. Looks like I'm going to run just. Just barely short of where I wanted to get, so I'm going to grab just a little bit more dubbing. Put that on. There we go. Yeah, that's going to look. That's about what we want right there. Okay, so I left quite a bit of room because there's work to be done up here yet, but the next step is going to be grab this hackle. I'm going to wrap this hackle right along the body of the fly, making nice, even, consecutive wraps. Try to give it the appearance of like ribbing almost. Sometimes people use hackle pliers when they're doing this. 
I prefer to just use my fingers. Hackle pliers are pretty handy. So I get it tied on there. Get a couple of tight wraps. Make sure it's on there fastened well. And then this I will not need for a little bit. So I'm just going to snip it. Okay. Next, we've got to tie in the wings, which is going to be elk hair again. So I'm going to snip myself a little pinch of elk hair. It's going to be a little bit bigger this time, a little bit larger pinch because this represents the wings. So there it is, quite a bit. Again, I got to grab it up here towards the front end, take out a lot of that smaller stuff. Stuff ends up getting in the way. Okay. I'm going to put this in the hair stacker. Looks nice and even. Okay, so I'll take this elk hair. I'm going to lay it right here on the hook with my right hand. I can kind of get an idea of how long I want it. I want it to be about the same length as where the tail sticks to. So that's about right, right there. Okay, once I have it where I want it, I pinch with my left hand. Right down on the hook, my first wrap is going to be relatively loose. Once I get all the way around, then I pull tight and you'll see that elk hair flare. That's what we want. Now my next wraps will be tight. I'm going to work back towards my fingers, wrapping away from where the elk hair flared. That way I don't get caught up in my thread and it starts to work around the hook. Okay. Got my fingers on both the both sides of the elk hair here. I really only want to snip this up here. So I'm going to grab, grab that all in a little pinch. And the scissors in there and snip the front end. Now I noticed I've got some flyers down here that I don't really want so I think I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm just going, I could work those back up into the fly but I think I'm just going to, we're just going to get rid of them. There we go. All right, okay, so we got our elk hair on there, got our dubbing on. Next step is we're going to tie in the head of this fly. I'm just going to use my thread to kind of work that elk hair down just so that it's a little easier to work with. And we're going to take that same piece of hackle that we had earlier, and we're going to tie that back on to the fly right here at the back end of where I have the thread. Okay, so I've got it. I might be able to, it's not quite long enough to really stick in the keeper, but there we go. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit of golden stone fly dubbing. I probably grabbed a little too much there. That's probably quite a bit more than what I really need. And we're going to put more dubbing on this fly and we're going to work it all the way up to the front of this, up to the eyelet of the hook. So we got to get it good and fluffy, lengthen it out, and twist it onto the, onto the thread. Okay, once I've got the dubbing on the thread, I'm going to wrap forward, try to make it down to the eyelet, and I like to make this, I think I'm going to need just a little bit more, I like to make the head of this with the dubbing a little bit thicker, give it a little bit more body. So I'm going to tie in just a little bit more dubbing. Whoops. I 
There we go. Now I'll take this last piece of hackle. I'll just wrap it right towards the front of the fly. I like to make my wraps a little bit tighter as far as how consecutive they are next to each other. So it's a little bit not quite spread as not spread quite as far apart as the the wraps from behind the elk hair. Okay, working to the front. And once we get to the front, I'm going to tie it off. Try to move that, what a small hackle. Try to move that hackle out of the way. Get five or six good wraps. We've got it. Now I'm going to get rid of this. And we will whip finish this fly. Snip it off. Check the elk hair here. Check the tail. There you have it. Golden stimulator.